Charlie, I'm very, I'm very upset and I'm very angry and that means I'm going to say something that I know I will regret later on. Please go and fix this with Rex now. Okay, but I don't want to prolong this with you and me. My, I'm not your priority here. Rex is. That boy has been fatherless most of his life, and then he finds this man that he thinks is his father, and he's, well, everything's so wonderful, and he's so proud of you, and he looks up to you, and he's about to be made a fool of. Please, just go and take care of this. Okay, but then I'm coming right back here, because we still have a lot to talk about. Oh, wonderful, wonderful. I'll be here. How did you find out about Shane? Doesn't matter, does it? What's important is your son, his happiness, not having the rug pulled out from under him. Mm. So your mother must have told you. Well, why would it be my mother? Oh, yeah, that, that would be a little far-fetched since she's the one who wanted me to stop the wedding. What are you talking about? News flash, Adriana. Your mom doesn't like your taste in husbands. Why do you think I stood up and made an ass out of myself? Because she gave me the hard sell right before the wedding. Begged me to make things right for my kid and tell Rex the truth. Liar. If you don't believe me, ask your charming mama. My mother and I disagree. Well, I'm, I'm guessing you're about to have the mother of all disagreements coming down the pike. Now get out of my house. Don't you get it? You can give this to Brody. He can use it to pass himself off as Shane's father. I don't have to prove anything to anybody. Now, what part of get the hell out do you not understand? Don't you want your son to keep believing in his father? Because believe me, if you don't do everything you can to keep this secret, it will come out and it won't be pretty. For you or for me? Yeah, I don't want Rex to find out that he's Shane's father. That's obvious. But believe it or not, I'm actually thinking of Shane and you because that little boy will never forgive you if he finds out you've been lying to him his whole life. Get out. Uh, no, I'm not leaving, and we're gonna talk about this like adults. Uh, no, we're not. What? Uh, put me down, are you crazy? Ugh, you hurt me! Here, don't forget your toothbrush. I know what you're feeling, because I feel it too, and that, Pain will always be there, I suppose, in one form or another, but we cannot let it destroy us. You know, we, we had a life together before Tommy, and we can have that life again. But we just have to give it a chance. Yeah, better get used to it, Blair. Kick me out, it's gonna be one big cry fest around here. Well, we will just have to survive that. And gradually, as the children see that life doesn't have to lurch from one crisis to another, they will agree that it really was worth it to have you gone. And now, since this is indeed my house, I have the great honor and privilege to evict you. I realize you're a bitch, Dorian, but privilege takes Star and Jack away from their father. It's nice. Yeah. Star and Jack are going to be just fine because they have me and they have Blair to look after them. Who's going to stick by you? Vicky, Jessica? And for how long will they stand by a morally bankrupt child abuser? Mm, no, I really see you all alone and self-destructing before too long. I had to wake him up, um, so he's a little cranky. Come here. Yeah, you come here. Listen, buddy. You're gonna go with your daddy, all right, for a little overnighter? Would you be a good boy, okay? I love, I love you. you. Oh, God, enough. Dad! Looking for this. Helps me sleep. 
Thanks for the assist with Adriana. That was my pleasure, believe me. Reminds me of a guy I used to know back in Michigan. Didn't take crap from anybody. Tough, but sweet, too. Romantic. What'd he drink? Water. OJ, if he was feeling, like, a little crazy. He sounds boring. Not to me. What can I say? People change. Hey, Dad. Uh, Charlie, that is. I know I haven't been very consistent, have I? I mean, I know I usually call you Charlie, but when I opened the door just now, it felt right to call you Dad. Hey, it's not important. Is it what I call you? I know who you are. No, Rex. You don't. Todd threw Star down a flight of stairs. It could have killed her. He could have killed the baby. Oh, dear. Dear God. She slept with Cole because he made her believe that she was never going to see Cole again. My little girl is having a baby of her own. Poor Star. How tough her life is going to be. Oh, God, what is she going to do when Todd finds out she's pregnant? What is she going to do? One thing that will never change. Marcy, I need you. I would be lost without you. I don't imagine they'll miss me much, will they? Not yet, anyway. Oh, hey, let's call. Let's call Aunt Vicky. Let her know you and I are on our own. You are my life. You know, you're, you're the best thing that ever happened to me. A whole bunch of you can just go to hell. Gigi, Brody, and Shane, Mom. I just murder you with my bare hands. Hey, don't mess with that. Don't mess with the doorknob. 